Hi, I have here the ring chime of ring.com which arrived brand new a day ago. Unfortunately, I could not do the setup and it started okay and then later it is not working and the LED is steady on. So I want to show it uh, what I did. Of course, this assembly, later we will see all the electronics. But let's try it again. So uh, again, don't do it at home because you might uh, get an electric shock if opening it or doing something that you're not sure that you know what you're doing. Okay, so let's plug it. And we will see in a second the LED. If you can see it, you can now see here the blue light. We'll try to do a zoom. Just a second. Okay, so you can see the uh, this is the LED of the ring uh, that you see here. Here it is uh, more clear. -y. And now let's do the reset. So they are saying to do a reset for five seconds. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, nothing. I will release, try to hear uh, the button and press. Okay, and I can do nothing with it. Not reset, I don't know what is the status, I actually know nothing. But it is stuck. Okay, I have to mention that the support of Dream.com is very good. Chat online and after one minute of uh, trying to connect to it, uh, they are replacing a new unit without charging and without asking for the uh, defective one uh, okay so let's try to do a, a little reverse engineering here so i will try to measure the voltage to see if i have any voltage problem so let's see if we have any voltage problem so uh, this is a, a DC multimeter. Again, don't do it at home because you have to know exactly what you are doing. And I will do it here. Okay, hope you can see it. Okay, so the voltages seem to be okay. Okay, so let's see what next we can do. Okay, so we can see here that this is the circuit and this is of course the power supply which gives 5 volts and I said don't do it at home because this part is of course depending on your country, here it is 220 volts and you don't want to mess with it. Here is the low voltage on this side. Okay, so you can see that they have done, uh, let's say, a quality power supply that looks very good to me. They have covers and everything and it looks high quality. Now let's disassembly. <coughs> and see what we have I can see now that I have here here there is an antenna with a PCB antenna connected to the board and we have here a three different chips so probably this is the RF chip because it is covered like an RF chip this is probably the microcontroller something and this is probably a MOSFET 
that control I guess the speaker I, I'm not sure if what I'm saying is uh, quite uh, accurate but Okay, so let's disconnect the PCB and try to see what we have here. So we have two screws that are also uh, closing with screws above uh, the box. <coughs> the cover of all the unit and here I have two Phillips screws one and two there is no connector between uh, the power and the PCB but I guess you don't need it because uh, you are not supposed to fix it or open it okay so here is the reset button so let's check if the reset button is working so I will put here my uh, DVM, sorry about the moving and okay so let's check the reset, ah, it's not easy do it all by myself uh, but I will manage okay so I'm touching okay the reset button works when I'm pressing it there is a short so this is not a button problem so this is actually a a problem not with the power supply with the main board I guess the Wi-Fi or the microcontroller I don't know which one can try to look uh, on the data sheet uh, this one look like TI chip but I need to look with magnifier and try to find the chips so and this is actually MOSFET and this is uh, as I said sign microcontroller okay so later I will try to find uh, the number of the chips and uh, strange that it is calm not working but again the support I'm actually satisfied with uh, ring.com support uh, they don't ask for the old unit and they are sending a new one uh, without uh, any problem uh, after a short test understanding that there is a problem with this unit you can see here a nice picker also here is a cover uh, to transfer the LED light uh, to the box by the way <laughs> okay I see that they are saving some money <laughs> because I have a PCB mount for four LEDs but actually they assembled only two LEDs also I see here test points so they can check uh, during the process if this PCB is working correct ok that's all for now thank you